Hi, this is Vina V and you're watching VinaV.com. And today I'm really happy because the sun is shining in London and I'm joined by a gorgeous lady. She's had seven consecutive top ten hits, two double platinum albums, even a smash hit in America. And now she's here with us. It is the gorgeous, so, 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 so scandalous, Sabrina Washington! Hey, babe. <laughs> that was a nice <laughs> intro. <laughs> you okay? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm loving your new look. Thank you. Uh, when did this come about? Do you know what? I change my hair all the time. Um, I always, I like experimenting. Like I shaved my hair off on one side. I've had it red. I've had it black. I've had it blonde. So this is new. This has come about like in the last three weeks. Well, I love it. It looks very nice. Thank I think you. I might copy you one day and then we can be twins. <laughs> But that would be a bit weird. Um, I'm not going to mess with you in this interview because it, your new video, yeah. you are so fierce. Oh, I'm a little bit you. scared of you because oh. you are just you punching <laughs> away. Um, it's called Hit It Hard. That's right. um, explain to me the concept behind the single. And did you have to train? Because, you know, I don't know how to punch. So did you have to learn to punch? Or are you, is that natural to you? Right, so Hit It Hard was is my new release, which is um, produced by Agent X. Um, and um, it came about with us going in the studio and I just wanted something to kind of say that I was back. It's not my formal, formal single, that would be next year. But um, just something to, you know, kind of put out there for people to listen to. And um, the video concept, I wanted something different. I didn't want to do the same where I'm standing in front of a camera and doing beauty shots and dancing. So the song is kind of, it, the narrative of the song is basically if you're going to hit it, better hit it hard. And for me, that means if you're doing anything, you do it 110%. Mm -hmm. So um, we came up with the whole kind of boxing match thing. And um, a friend of mine, Charles, who owns a... Um, like a modeling agency he had Chantel Jackson on his books who's Floyd Mayweather's fiance so he said I think it'll be good if you two went into the ring I was like really I was like does she train and he was like uh, no she doesn't train she's a model I was like okay um, that sounds good then so he kind of put it to her and she listened to the song and she really really loved it so she said yeah I'd love to come to do the video so she came over done the video we done we didn't even do any choreography we kind of just kind of freestyled it wow. did, did you really hit her no no <laughs> no i didn't really hit her but it was hilarious because when we was in the ring and we was going for it and stuff like it was like a real fight it was it was mad it was like a real fight but it was amazing i just wanted to do something different as in this i've done so much of the same yeah well, no, but it's good. I like it. It's good direction. Thank you. Moving along with the times. Thank and it's a great, like, running track, I think. Definitely. Because I can imagine, like, jogging, <laughs> like that, isn't it? No, it is. It's kind of inspiring. It's, it's, it's inspiring for me. It was just like, okay, cool. It means if you're doing anything, just go for it. Exactly. Don't, you know, don't hold back. Just go for it. Now we need to break this down, okay? Because you obviously split with Mystique. Yes. You had a little bit of a break for a few years. You came back with a single in 2010 yes. called OMG, yes. which didn't chart, and I can't believe it didn't chart because it is such a good pop record. So I, that baffles me. Um, you've had a, a little break again, yes. and now you're back yes. again. Um, now I want to know, what do you do in the breaks when you're not releasing music? Because okay. it's like weird because OMG didn't do well over here, but it done amazingly well in Europe. So that's where I've been most of the time, kind of travelling, doing shows. I've had other songs out in France and all over territory. So it's weird how, you know, I suppose with the internet and everything opening up, people just like what they like. So I've been travelling and doing loads of shows. But for me, I always wanted to come home because home's where the heart is. So it was inevitable that I was going to come back and do something. But in the meantime, I was just everywhere else. Because I just had this vision of you kind of, I'm sure a lot of people do this where you just like sat at home. It's like, because I always realise that what do artists do when you're not releasing music? Like a lot of people, sometimes if I'm not work going out presenting, I just sit at home. It's but weird. I am working at home. You I'm not do get to the stage where sometimes you do want to sit at home. 
But I suppose with music traveling to so many different places, a lot of artists are all over in different places. And sometimes you can be huge somewhere else and not here. As an example, like I'd done a show in Poland for like 250,000 people. I'm like, really? Like who? I even stepped out on the stage and was like, how does this work? Like, you know, how does it work? But it works because music just travels. So I suppose when artists, they do have their downtime and then they have their showtime and stuff like that. So I had my travel time, I had my downtime, and now I'm back. <laughs> Woo! And Shane Ward's really big in Japan as well, isn't he? So you're saying about other people are big yeah, and different things. I'm really is. big in Japan as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll check you out. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> no one knows who I am. Um, let's talk Twitter. Yes. Um, you tweeted, I think it was a few days ago, my day is full of interviews, and then someone tweeted you back, good luck, hope you get the job I you know, want. right? <laughs> so I saw that. I like, why are you even on my Twitter? Oh, I, my, hilarious. <laughs> I was just literally kind of like in shock and then laughed and I thought about you I as I do laugh. and what well, yeah what did you did you try kind of look at it and think do people think I'm not doing anything like yeah, I just I just laughed but you know sometimes people follow you but they don't even know why they're following you <laughs> so that's the thing and not everyone's on their Twitter every day mm -hmm. you know so they don't even know what's going on I was like that is hilarious <laughs> but it's it was funny. as an artist you get so much like you get so many comments and sometimes it's hard not to look at them mm. but you need to look at them like mm. even on my um on the video for hit it hard like it's had like i think like 750,000 hits it's nearly had a million hits already it's so amazing insane. so i think it's been cool because obviously 50 tweeted it flo tweeted it oh. and 50 put it on his website as well so a lot and bt added it to their list so it's been getting a lot of feedback but even when i look at some of the things that people write underneath i just burst out laughing like there was a guy that came on here and he was like i really really hate this girl but Oh, I so love the song. I was like, like who does that? That's so random. See, for me, if I was reading that, yeah. I would, I would actually like get really upset though, saying like, do you know what, but, but you, do you just laugh? I had to. I, I burst out laughing. I was practically crying because I was like, why would you even take your time to write? To, I, to hate even, I hate her. <laughs> but I love this song. I was like, really? So you can't even take anything seriously? And sometimes, you know, like people just put things up. They just put it up. I think sometimes you know we're having a little chat with your mates. Yeah. Sometimes you say stuff, but then some people actually tweet it. Yeah. They probably don't really actually mean it. So yeah. I think as an artist, you've kind of exactly. got exactly. You kind of ha you it. have to have a thick skin. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not easy to have thick skin, but you need to. Um, talk to us about Cash Money. Now, what happened with this? Because oh, you were yeah. kind of like nearly signed, and then I don't know what happened. Everyone what happened? All, like, I don't know. Like we had the conversations. I was in talks with Cash mm -hmm. Money, so we was talking at the time. And then I don't know. It just it just didn't it just didn't materialise. Oh, that's materialize. a shame. I know. Ah! I know. Um, I gotta say, you're very clever. You're probably one of the cleverest pop stars ever, because I don't know if you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> because um, obviously people have a, a big boom. They have loads of hits. You're really successful with Mystique, mm -hmm. and a lot of people just spend it on like ten cars. But you are very clever, and all pop stars take notice of this because you invested in properties, didn't you? That's right. So I'm guessing right now you don't really need to release music to make money because you've got properties, so you're financially stable. I'm guessing. Very much so. I think, uh, I think, I suppose, I think this new generation, because obviously it's still, you know, as we said, urban is now pop. I think that, you know, people just need to realise that you need to kind of have a nest egg for, you know, when you're not, you know, doing as many shows as you are. And for me, I just, you know, I kind of always wanted to get into property anyway because it's always something I was attracted to so I just made sure that I invested wisely. Clever girl, well done. It's better. <laughs> um, finally, before we go, we have to talk about Mystique. I know everyone's going to ask you but we have to do oh. this. For the last two years, all of you in separate interviews have been saying, oh yes, going to get back together or do a tour. So what is happening? Because really? last month, Alicia yeah. did say to a really trusted newspaper really? um, that you had a re reunion in a bathtub. In a what? In a bathtub. Really? You can't believe everything. That <laughs> no, I know that's why I said really trusted. In a bathtub. <laughs> really? That's why I just nice wanted to restaurant, you know, nice bar, a bathtub. <laughs> So, did you ever read? <laughs> uh, I didn't read that one, but um, I can say, uh, 
no to oh, that so, one. But you didn't, did you get together, the three of you? Is there going to be a tour next year? No. Oh no, I'm so sad. Do you know what I will say I will say never say never, okay. never, but um at this precise moment there is nothing planned. Oh, I don't like Daily Star anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to read you. Got wrong information. Uh, finally, before we go, let's play the Google game. Right. Now, when I we type the following words into Google, mm -hmm. what are the top three searches for you? Okay, is Sabrina Washington? Then what are the top three searches that come up? What are people searching for when they go? Is Sabrina Was Washington? I don't know. Have I a don't... little guess. What do you think people are searching about? Uh, Maybe think back in your life, because I know the first one is about two or three years ago. In the jungle? Okay, that's one. You need two more. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. I really can tell you. Shall we tell you the I answers? Yeah, please, because I don't Google. So these myself. are the top three searches. I <laughs> if I did Google myself. <laughs> Let's see. Is Sabrina Washington dating Stuart Manning? Oh, Lord, no. no. Is Sabrina Washington married? Oh no! Is Sabrina Washington single? Is those are, are those are the top three searches for yourself? That is hilarious. So the last you didn't answer the last oh, one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh no, I am not married. Okay. I am single, and no, I'm not dating Stuart. There we go. That's all the guys need to know. That's all they need to know. And they also That's need hilarious. to. That's <laughs> yeah, it's the good. things that come up. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> Um, one more thing we need to know. New single is out now as a free download. That's right. It's out now as a free download. So you can go to sabrinawashington.com and pick it up. And also on my Facebook. And you can follow me on Twitter at Sabs Washington. I'm not under Sabrina Washington. I know people go in and look for, where's Sabrina Washington? She's not on here. I'm under Sabs Washington. That's what my, that's what my friends and family call me, Sabs. So I am S-A-B-Z Washington. And you can check out everything you need to know on there. Yay! Oh. <laughs>